grade one. We are very excited to have you learn about this really cool artist. Okay, Ms. Kasky, take it away. Friedensreich Hundetwasser was born in 1928 in Austria and died in the year 2000 on a boat on the way to New Zealand. He's a Holocaust survivor and a great artist. He was known for his paintings, graphic designs, and architecture. Hundetwasser believed in adding beauty to the world through his clothes, his architecture, and his paintings. And he felt that that connected himself to the world around him. Bright colors, organic and geometric shapes, recycled materials, and incorporating nature are exactly what you would see every time you look at a Hundertwasser artwork. Okay, Miss Carney, show us how to get started. Take our Hundertwasser tree, you're gonna start with a piece of newspaper and scrunch it up into a sphere or a ball. Really squeeze hard. Then you're going to take masking tape and you're going to cover that sphere, that ball, with masking tape. As you put the masking tape on, overlap it, crisscross it, go in all directions, and really press the tape as you attach it to make sure that it sticks. You can even squeeze the ball a little to make sure it's nice and strong. Once you've created your ball and it's covered in tape, you're going to take a square piece of paper, put a marker inside, and roll it up to make a cylinder. Once you've created a cylinder, you can take the marker out, and you're going to use masking tape again to tape all along the edge to make sure it doesn't fall apart and unravel. After that, take a pair of scissors and cut a flange around each side. So you're just cutting little tiny lines all the way around. Then use your fingers to push down those tabs on both sides. Now you have a great spot to attach your sphere and make it into a tree. So again, use tape, overlap the flange, put the tape on the ball and the flanges on the tabs, go all the way around and really push the tape to make sure it's nice and strong. After that, you're going to put the other side on a piece of thick cardboard to make it stand up very nicely. So you're going to put the tape on top of the tabs and you can put the extra tape folded over to the back of the cardboard. Make sure you go all the way around and you push nice and hard to make sure that this is stuck very firmly. Now we're ready to add some color. We're gonna have fun with this. Mix colors and get inspired by what gives you energy, what makes you feel fun and connected to nature. So you can mix colors on your tree you can also add layers. You can paint right on top of the tape and all of the paper. You can also add things like dots or stripes, patterns, any kinds of things that make you feel happy and make the tree come alive. Once you've finished decorating your tree, you might even add glue some things so that you have a finished, beautiful Hundertwasser inspired artwork. Okay, Miss Mac, show us how to make the background. Okay, time for our backgrounds. Everybody's gonna have a square piece of paper. It might be a different color. Uh, we're gonna use some oil pastels to do some nice thick lines, thick wavy lines. We wanna sort of use the sort of uh, rolling shapes that Hundertwasser used in his artwork. Okay, so I'm gonna add a pink one and some brown, and then I'm gonna color those in with the oil pastels. They're very soft, so don't press too hard or the oil pastels will break. Um, you could even blend some of the colors together if you like. Once you've got the oil pastel lines, then I'm gonna do some skinnier lines with some marker. You decide what kind of colors you want. And I'm using uh, loop-de-loops and circles and zigzag lines. I'm gonna make like a little basket weave. We've done other projects with lines, so you guys know how to make all kinds of cool lines. All right, once we've done that, we're gonna put that aside for now, and we're gonna make some sort of fun abstract trees. You're gonna get a scrap of paper that's got lots of paint on it already, and you're gonna trace some circles, and then you're gonna cut those circles out. All right. So remember when you're cutting that you're always turning the paper, not the scissors. All right, and so you cut out a few of these. I've made different sizes, and I'm also gonna cut some strips. They're gonna be like the trunks of our trees. 
And once I've done that, of course, I'm gonna glue them down. Now I'm gonna start by taking our background and I'm going to fold it um, into a triangle, not a rectangle, but a triangle and open it up and then fold it in a triangle the other way. You'll see why we're doing that in a little bit. Now you only wanna glue your pieces on the top half of one of those triangles, okay? So your paper's on a, an angle right now. And I'm gonna glue down those scrap pieces of painted circles that we have. And then I'm gonna add the tree trunks to them. I know they don't look exactly like real trees, they're kind of more like crazy lollipops, but uh, they will work perfectly for this project. All right, so once I've gotten those glued down, um, then we are going to turn this into a little place for the, tr the three-dimensional tree that we already made. And I'm gonna show you how to do that in just a second once I've got these all glued down. Make sure they're stuck, a little more glue there. Now, remember when I said that you folded it in the tr to triangles? That's what we had done, so you need to redo that. Now, I accidentally cut mine before I videoed it, so I'm gonna show you, you're gonna cut along the one fold just to the middle, do not cut past that middle. And once we fold the pieces up like that, you get a nice little triangle for your tree. All right, I hope you love this project. We can't wait to see your amazing Hunter Twasser inspired art pieces. So go forth and be brilliant.